Hey, and welcome back to day 19 of the 31 day challenge in March. And today we'll be going over LangChain vector databases and PDFs. We will load a PDF using a LangChain tool into the vector database and then be able to ask that any question about the PDF and get a response back. All right, for the example today, I have an ancient Rome PDF that I just found online. It's like hundred pages about ancient Rome. You also have this in the GitHub. And what we're doing is we're going to be loading that document using a LangChain tool called PyPDFloader. We're going to be loading that, splitting the text from that document then storing that into a vector database locally, so into Meta's uh, Phi's or Phase vector database. So I asked it to summarize Julius Caesar from the PDF that we gave to the vector database, and then we got a result talking about Julius Caesar. That is a Roman leader whose power rose through military campaigns, yada, 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 but enemies in the Senate ultimately led to assassination. Okay, so there are quite a few things that we will need to import here. And if you're going to really use anything with LangChain to help you load documents or store things into a vector database, which there are numerous options to do so, this is just one of them, then you will be have you will have quite a few imports. Now, the next thing we'll need is uh, the environment variable. So if you want to use OpenAI API or really anything, you just need to have this API key set here. Um, if you're going to use like Olama or LM Studio, then it doesn't matter what API key you have here. Right. Um, I'm choosing the model because I will just will be using OpenAI's API to make this quick. And then uh, if you want to use, like I said, Olama or LM Studio, you just need the base URL environment variable here. And then just give, you just need to give the URL for whichever one you're using. I have another variable for the vector database. As you can see over here, and I'll delete this so the next time I run it, but this will this will be where we save the actual vector database set. Okay, there are a lot of different embeddings. You can even use like Hugging Face embeddings. You don't have to use OpenAI embeddings. There are numerous choices, but the embeddings are basically going to store uh, information like from the PDF into values for the database. Because whenever you store into a vector database, you store vectors, right? Which are just like decimal numbers. And we only want to save the vector database once, right? We don't want to try and resave the same thing over and over again. So if it doesn't exist, if so, if the path, the folder path for the phase vector database or phase vector database doesn't exist, it's going to create it over here. Otherwise, if it does exist, then it's going to load the vector database. So we have the path of the PDF, the loader is equal to the pi mu PDF loader. We're going to load the documents into the documents variable. We're going to recursively split the text into chunk sizes and overlaps. Then we're actually going to split the documents, right? And I'll, and I'll show you um, what this is, right? So we'll have the documents and when we split them, they're going to, there's going to be a lot more documents that we're going to store. Then we're going to create a vector store. We're going to give it the documents and the embeddings. And then we're finally going to save the vector store locally. This is going to happen if the vector database doesn't already exist in your local directory. However, if it does, we're going to load the vector database from the same folder path. And then we have a retrieval question and answer where the, we set the LLM to open AI. The retriever is, you know, this is uh, the retriever for the actual, actually getting the vector store. Then we essentially call invoke. If you're using an older version, you might say QA.call, um, which then if you try to run it, it'll say that this is deprecated and I think um, if it's not already, they're going to just completely switch to invoke and the call might not work. Um, but this is the question we want to ask, right? Just We just want to ask you to summarize Julius Caesar, but we did an example. Let's ask it a different question. So just give me a fact from this PDF, okay? I'm going to go ahead and delete the database that we have there. I'm going to debug this so that you can see the documents, right? So we're going to load the documents here. Okay, so we're, we are right here at the text splitter, right? So we want to look for this documents uh, variable. So you can see here, there are 114 different documents, right? There's only one PDF, right? But our documents are each like split up from that PDF, right? So then like here's something about uh, chapter three. So all of the different pages inside of the document are split uh, inside the PDF are split up into documents here. Let's move on to the next one after it splits the text. Now you can see here the docs has more now. The original documents as it was, had 114 different uh, documents, but now there's 169 documents. And the idea is that when we go to uh, retrieve the vectors from the database, that we're going to have more accurate results from the similarity search. It'll end up creating a vector database over here. Oh, look, I forgot the. Well, I'm a scrub. I forgot to change the API key here. I'm going to rerun this with an, act an, an actual API key. It's starting. It should s actually save the vector database over here. And then the query was to give me a fact from this PDF and the result, and you know, it gives me a result here. Um, actually I went with something different, right? So that just gave a summary, but just, I wanted to show you that's actually retrieving something from the PDF, right? So I asked it to give me a paragraph directly word for word from this PDF 
from chapter 10, right? So I know this PDF, I looked into it, there are, uh, has chapters in it. So I wanted to give you something from chapter 10. And it did, it said, uh, chapter 10, roads, bridges, and aqueducts, aqueducts, whatever. So if you search for it, I opened it up. And if you search for it, I mean, here, I mean, here it is, right? It's actually, tw I searched for it twice here. It's in the table of contents and then the actual chapter, uh, the actual chapter 10, that's the title of it. Okay. And then I said, actually, I know there's also a vocabulary in here. So I just kind of want to make sure. So give me a vocabulary definition directly word for word from this PDF from chapter 10. So it gave me continent, one of the seven large land areas on earth. Okay. And I think this is like, you know, more of a beginner ancient Rome PDF, uh, from a book. So if I, if I want to open it up and I search for continent now, it is in chapter nine, not 10, but here is the vocabulary. We got that working. We're actually able to store the PDF into a vector database, which might be new. Then we could ask the vector database a question, and then we retrieved a response back. I thank you for watching. Here's some more videos on Autogen. Again, this is day 19, I believe. I'm starting to lose count. Thank you. I will see you next video.